Right, this recording is for Archie. Archie is in Scotland who sent his um he sent me your uh EHTW nine thousand with uh, an error condition. Now I'm gonna show you your machine, then I'm gonna replicate the problem um with this other with this other EHTW nine thousand of mine. Okay, and I will then tell you about the difficulty um, with repairing the CHTW9000 of yours then you can decide um, you can then decide what you wish to do okay so here we go this is your fault in standby off it goes manually flashing you'll hear the Iris CF device shifting in a moment there you go you hear the fan run and then you'll see start up from your lamp ballast from your lamp and your door is opening and then wallop seconds later there you go and shut down okay so your fans running and your LED indicators flashing now It'd be very interesting to know, Archie, um, how you came, how this, how this came to be like this. Did you buy the the unit second hand, or did this just appear, or how did this fault occur? That's that's what's most interesting to me. Okay, now we'll let this power down of yours. Eventually it will shut down. It will probably leave the air still flashing. Got to cool the lamp because we don't want the lamp going, going ping. There you go, fan's gone off, it's still flashing the air, okay? Now then, I'm going to replicate the same problem on the CH2W9000 and that's the difference that Jovi S Visual, we don't replace motherboards unless it's absolutely necessary. We like to get down to the semiconductor failures which can take an incredible amount of time okay because it is down to component level so here we go we've got power up then flashing you'll hear the orange flip there you go orange flipped lamp and front shutter will open lamp front shuts open and then all of a sudden we will see error okay so I've replicated the same fault on this working machine as is what is on your machine okay um, I don't think it's only had a lot of drive on that lamp but uh, I'll let it shut off anyway and then I will show you I will leave this recording and I will quickly reconnect certain parts of the board.
great for it to reset, shut down reset. There we go, LEDs are still flashing, exactly like yours. Right, I'm going to leave this um, powered up. Okay, hope you don't mind. But I'm then going to reconnect now a certain part of the board. Okay, I'm now reconnected a certain part of the board on this projector and I'm now going to power it back up. Okay. Right, it's in standby. Okay, that's flashing. CF motor shifted. Yep. Lamp ballast. Struck. Flap open. And the projector has stayed up. Okay. Okay. And it's heating up, warming up. Okay, imaging lens. Okay, and as you can see, the lamp is still lit and everything will be working fine. Yeah, there you go, there's the image on the screen there. Alright, so let me tell you the problem with your motherboard is that a certain section of the board is taking excessive amounts of current. It's taking s s excessive amounts of current because one of the processors which has approximately 150 pin, uh, 100 approximately 150 pins needs to be replaced. Now sometimes the pro block processors come off the board okay and can be replaced other times unfortunately it doesn't always work that is that is the look of the draw all right um, it may be too it may be the uh, int interlace uh, processor as well as the data chip so you might not get away with replacing just the one you might have to be, re be replacing the two but either way you're going to be looking at replacing uh, the 140 odd pin processor nearly 150 pins um, because I suspect that that is what is pulling the rail down yeah um, so it'd be interesting to know the history of when this happened or how it happened because um, I can honestly say I don't think I've ever I've, I've never had to replace that block I've done other blocks but not that processor before but um, there's always a first alright Archie so I'll leave it with you um, obviously it's the the cost is is not going to be cheap because I've got to spend time taking the processor off the board and then I've got to order the processor, replace the processor fingers crossed it solves the problem um, because you're not going to know until you replace it and, um, and that's the that's the um, that's the trick that's the hardest trick about it um, but, alright, I'll let you decide. Thanks Archie, bye bye.